in the day. Hey, halfway through the week, huh? Our lesson today is keep going and you will succeed. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. I've got a bunch of them, but this, this one's up there with them. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest, if we do not give up. What a great promise. Let's not become weary. Don't get tired of being good. Don't get tired of doing good. For just at the right time, and God knows the right time, we will reap a harvest, if we do not give up. Let us not become weary or lose heart in doing good. That's the idea of losing hope. When we get weary, we lose hope. We, we want to quit. So don't, don't become weary in doing good. God knows the right time. If we just stay after it, we just stay faithful, God will honor that. So we all have those times when we're ready to quit. We're ready to give up. How do we keep going when we don't feel like it? And we're ready to quit. How do we keep going? Well, first of all, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Realizing that your work here isn't, isn't dependent on you. It's dependent on your faithfulness. And then what God needs from you and me is our faithfulness and, and not our, our expertise. God chooses to use us. He doesn't need us, but he chooses to use us. So humble yourself and realize, hey, this isn't all about me. This is really about God. So first, humble yourself. Second thing, tell God about your concerns and doubts. In 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, cast all your anxiety or your cares on him. Why? Because he cares for you. Talk to God. God, I feel like I'm a failure. God, I feel like I'm not doing any good. God, why should I keep going? Talk to him. Let him know how you feel. You say, he already knows. Yes, he does. But there's something happens when we talk to God. And then we listen. Something happens rather than just saying, oh yeah, God already knows. So humble yourself. Tell God about your concerns and doubts. Third thing is stay connected. Stay connected. You know, when a lion attacks, he doesn't attack a whole herd of animals. He attacks the weak or the ones on the outside that's by themselves. When we're around other believers, there is there's strength in numbers and there, there's safety there. Satan likes to pull us away from everybody else and then just beat us up. When we're around other believers, we get encouraged. We can draw on their strength. Same way when they're discouraged and they're around us, they can draw on our strength. Stay connected to, the, to the, the, your church group, your fellow believers. Stay connected to them. The fourth thing, resist the enemy. Don't give in to the lies of the enemy. You know, I'm not really very good. I don't can't read well. I can't do anything good. God can't use me. That is a lie from Satan. God can use us. And you know what? God has used, he has used people who didn't have the ability a whole lot more than he did the people who had the ability. Why? Because the people who didn't have the ability depended on him. Resist the enemy. The fifth thing, trust God to do what he says he will do. Matthew 19, 26, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, with, but with God all things are possible. There's a young boy that had a demon. And the father said, If you can do something, Jesus said, If. With God all things are possible. God gives us, somebody said this one time, and I can't remember who said it, but I thought it was so good. He said, God gives us the right to feel hopeless about the things that God feels hopeless about. Think about that for a moment. God gives, us, God gives us the right to feel hopeless about the same things that God feels hopeless about. What does God feel hopeless about? Nothing. Nothing. So we don't have the right to feel hopeless. Why? Because we serve a mighty God. And God can do it, especially when we cannot. He is faithful and he always rewards faithfulness. He doesn't call us to be successful. He calls us to be faithful. There was uh, a man who was planting potatoes. If you've ever planted potatoes, you know, you take a potato and, the, and it's, it, you've got things growing out of them, growing up the potato eyes. And you either can cut sections off and put them in there or put the whole potato in the ground, either way. And the boy was watching his grandpa plant these potatoes and, 
And uh, he said, Grandpa, why are you burying food? Grandpa says, because this will give us more food than the food that's there. And so they they waited a day or two, and he's, the boy came up and said, Grandpa, I don't see anything growing. Grandpa says, patience, son, it takes patience. He saw the potato plants, and he realized in order to grow something, you have to put something in the ground. And then you have to have patience for it to grow. We have to have patience. We got to keep going. Just keep going, and you will succeed. Don't give up. Never, never, never give up. Keep going. Have a good day.